we've got a bunch of donations from the Rockwell Ward. We got toothpaste. Um, we got toothbrushes. We've got um, feminine products. Ray razors. Razors. We have. We also have two more bags uh, full of toys for mm -hmm. kids, uh, snacks for soldiers and people, uh, and what else we have? We also have clothes. Yeah, there's some clothes. So we have lots of stuff. ready set to go to Poland the car is full of luggage <laughs> I could barely fit in <laughs> Boxes uh, for Paul, Krakow, Poland. This is the nation boxes. This is the nation's boxes, and we also have um, our bags over there. You can see it. he's grabbing one. Oops, yeah, he's grabbing the black one. No. <laughs> so we have. A few people traveling with us with huge pile of luggages, boxes, and everything is for Ukraine. So it's not just us. Now we're going, they uh, arranged two vans for us so we can fit all our luggage in the van and we're going to Krakow. Good morning guys, still in Krakow and behind us it's the refugee center, it used to be so You're gonna mall. see the videos, what it looks like inside, I couldn't really take uh, many videos because I was not allowed But we kind of did it in a sneaky way <laughs> Oh, it's a cushion, this is just a Не, дальше нас конится. Good morning, guys. It's uh, 6 a.m. in Krakow. We were getting ready to go to Lviv. Lviv. Uh, someone is going to pick us up and drive us all the way to Lviv to the LDS chapel. And we have all our bags there behind. They are all behind. Yeah, right there. Just sitting there. So, wish us good luck. And this is for one night? No, sorry. I say that only because I've been there some time. in a 
some small town in Poland, we are at the warehouse mm -hmm. to get what? Some, some more humanitarian supplies from local people here. Yeah, we're taking it to Lviv and then it, it's gonna go to different cities um, in Ukraine that are getting bombs right now. Yeah, let's go see. So this is the warehouse? Yes. Okay. So where the supplies come in. And who buys? Is it the, the Baptist church? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the Baptist. That's the chop shop? It, no, 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 it's not a chop shop. <laughs> More. More. It was my favorite um, book when I was a child. Mumin? Mumine? Mumin. Muminki in Polish. Muminki. Okay. Uh, Mumin, I guess. In... That's the border, that's the line going to Ukraine. And here's the chapel. Just the heavy ones. <laughs> Those are all donations. Так у вас все есть, что нужно, да? Да. Больше моя шпатка. Моя такой хороской относительно. Да? Да. Я еще я здесь медикаменты. Давай, там их будет. Так, прекратите. Сейчас вы тут на карте идете Кстати, вот тоже, кстати, вот тоже они. Начало 20 столетия. Вот тут и вот туда дальше пошло. Вот тот вот черненький дом классный, обалденный. Вот этот вот самый классный. Счастливы и рады, 
что единственные в мире часы показывают время на 5 минут вперед. Но что-то перемкнуло нашим властям, и они взяли и выровняли это все в нормальное, нормальное русло. То есть, да, а они э, городской, там были вилы, грабли, что-то такое, прочее, чтобы там как-то занять народ. Здесь уже было действующее оружие, а в королевском арсенале было оружие украшения. То есть, как было раньше? Стол, курица, вина и золотые там разные всякие э, мечи и прочие, они сидели, пили. Давайте, давайте. This is the chapel, and here's the kitchen. Um, this is they preparing dinner for refugees here. It, it's every night at 6:30 p.m. Here's the kitchen. Those are all volunteers. So this is the place where all the donations are. Let's go see downstairs where people are sleeping. So here's the washer. So they can wash their clothes. Good morning, guys. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, and we're still in Lviv. Um, going right now and trying to. The, some guys taking us uh, to the Polish border, so mm -hmm. we're going to Poland. We, we're going to leave Lviv today, unfortunately. Unfortunately, mm. yeah. Wish we could stay a little longer. Yeah, we loved it here, but I guess uh, see you at the border. So we just wanted to talk about uh, what we did yesterday here in Lviv. Yeah, some of the things we did is we were able to go do some grocery shopping uh, for dinner. For there's, refugees? For refugees, there's a bunch of people staying at a local LDS chapel and um, so we were able to provide them with dinner. So it was it was uh, $90 for... that many people that we have in the chapel right now. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine how many money, how much okay. money proceed to the route? We need every day to feed uh, breakfast and dinner yeah and what we did it was just it was dinner. just one was yeah just, just one, one day dinner. dinner so we're gonna uh give i guess some money uh to 
the bishop uh, or the guy who actually responsible for everything here yeah, in the chapel. providing mm -hmm. uh, food uh, so they can actually buy more food to feed those refugees and what else we did oh we helped to make dinner for them also it was really mm -hmm. delicious um, yeah. And we had a little treat for everyone. Seems like that's not... In a quarter mile, take a right. Frequent occurrence, I guess. Yeah, for sure, because they said that you, just, ma you made their day. Yeah. We made their day. They're just trying to provide the basics, you know. Yeah. So that's what we did yesterday, and it was really busy. Um, like all day we were running around. Take a slight right turn on Shota Rastavli Street. Then in 300 feet, the destination is on your right. So the, the lady came from Poland border and she doesn't have any uh, money to get to her house in Ukraine. So we're just gonna exchange and give her some um, so she could take a car or bus um, to go home. gonna be looking for or waiting for people who need a ride to Poland so we're, we're just gonna be in and around so we got two vans yeah it's right there so we'll see if anyone needs a ride Thank you. 